So the other day I started improvising to find new ideas for an arrangement I was working on. And I noticed something very strange. Each time my left hand played G sharp, my right hand would always land over these notes. And each time my left hand played A, my right hand would always land over these notes. I later noticed that there were very specific motions I did to find the sound I was looking for. Now, what's actually going on here? Well, let's take a close look. Place your hands over these notes, these notes, these notes, and these notes. Now play them again, but instead of playing all the right hand notes at once, play them individually as you please. Here I'm giving you different hand positions that you can use to create a very beautiful sound. You can later play the notes within the hand position as you like to make that sound your own. You are playing hand position combinations. Now this is really cool, but it's definitely not where the magic starts. I will tell you when soon, but first we need to talk about composing. Now whether you compose, arrange or improvise, it's all about knowing what you want to create and knowing how you can create it. And hand position combination can help you a lot with the how part. Because you can learn that if you play F with your left hand and combine it with these right hand notes, you will create a very bittersweet feel. Now how you perceive that feel might differ depending on what you play before and after, but that specific sound will always be the same. So when you play piano, and you know you want that specific feel, you can simply place your hands over that position and it will guide you on how to create the feeling you want to share. Now you can use hand positions to create heroic feels beautiful feels Really epic feels. And anything you can imagine. And it's here where the true magic starts. Because creating piano music is also about having a lot of options, so you know which ones really sounds like you. You might try a new hand position, and you have never thought about that you can combine the notes like that. And when you play it, it sounds absolutely amazing, and you've just discovered a sound that really feels like you. Later you might discover another one, and then another one, and then you notice that if you combine these three, it sounds absolutely amazing. Now you have found different hand positions that really feel like your sound and you combine those sounds to really create your own style. Now let's talk about how you actually can learn it. In the description of this video you can find a link to 10 different hand position combinations I really really like. They are categorized from easy to hard so you can find the easy ones at top and the more hard ones at the bottom. I would recommend finding one that seemed to be a good level for you and then starting with just doing the first two combinations. Once it feels comfortable transition between the two, now you want to start creating some melodies. Once that feels good, progressively add the remaining progressions. And you've learned a really cool recipe. 
Now this is just the start, because when the combination feels comfortable to play, now you want to start to get curious. What happens if you take one position and change the bottom note? Or maybe just add one more note? What happens if you switch place between the third and the fourth hand position? What if, what if, what if? <laughs> you want to ask that a lot. You also want to notice if there are certain hand positions that you really like because that you can have a lot of use of in the future. I would also recommend to practice emotions. Try playing repeating notes from bottom to top, repeating notes from top to bottom. Try to play one note, then go up one step, and then back to the note you started with. Also try to get a feel for how these different motions feel, and when you think you want to use them. I can't believe I haven't thought about this before. I use it all the time, I just didn't know I did. <laughs> because imagine what big of a difference where you place your fingers make on your playing. Of course it makes sense to practice placing your fingers where they can create very great melodies, and where they can create something that really feels like you. So now when you know how it works, Let's give you a reason to really start to practice it. Here are three absolutely amazing artworks created by Martina Stippen. Now here's what I want you to do. Choose one of these three artworks and compose a piece to it. It can be solo piano or any other instrument or voice you want. Then send me a message on Discord or my Gmail with the following information. The title of the piece, what name you want me to present you with, which one of the three artworks it's inspired by, but make sure to only tell me and no other in the Discord group. Then also let me know if you would want to be featured on my YouTube channel or not. Now Martina was super kind to let us use these artworks for the event, so please check out more of Martina's works and give some love to the ones you like. Now it's very important that you do this before the following date. On the date you see on the screen right now, that will be the date where we have a Discord hangout, listen to all the pieces, and also have a little bit of a guessing game, see if we can guess which one of the artworks the piece belongs to. If we together explore this concept of hand positions, I think it's absolutely amazing what we can do with it. There are so many different ways you can use it, and there are so many different combinations you can use it in. I would love to see some combinations of your own, and if you share them on Discord, I will upload my favorite ones as a community post on this channel. Moral of the story, hand positions, pretty cool, let's start to use them, stay awesome.